Desirelessness is attained, first of all, by seeing the defects in the objects that we desire. We have to see the defects. We need to meditate on the defects on the, of these objects. Now, what is the main defect that we can find in all objects? The main defect that we can find in all objects is objects do not have the power to make us happy. No object in this universe has the quality or the power to make us happy. There is nothing in objects that can cause happiness. We have to meditate on it. Can any object bestow upon me happiness? We have to, find, to discover it. We have to, we have to find out, is there any object there which has such a quality that it can give me happiness? If not, why do I desire the object? The reason of, the cause of every desire is to attain some form of happiness to that object. But the object does not have such a power. There is no happiness at all in any object. This is the point. So the object has the primary defect that it cannot bestow desire. It cannot give us any, any uh, it cannot bestow happiness. It cannot give us any happiness. Happiness has absolutely nothing to do with objects. Neither by taking objects away we can remove suffering. Even if you move away all objects, you will not remove suffering. Uh, suffering has nothing to do with the presence or absence of objects. No happiness has anything to do with the presence or absence of objects. So objects have this defect. Objects do not have the power to fulfill desires. No desire was ever fulfilled because of objects. It seems that they can fulfill desire. In reality, they cannot. So we should not believe it. When we need to meditate on it. Once we will find out what is the real nature of objects, we will see the defects of the objects. The objects have profound defects in relation to what we expect from them. And once we see it, we meditate on the defects of the objects, and then we will never desire them again. Never. In reality, by desiring objects, the only uh, result that we can attain is suffering. But we sh uh, the yogic method says that we should not believe it. We have, to f we have to realize it. We have to meditate on, can any object bestow happiness? B can possession of objects give me happiness? How many objects do we possess? Let's see. Raise your hand. How many people here possess at least one object? Raise your hand. False. It's all false. We do not possess any object. We don't even possess this body. If I don't possess the body, how can I possess an object? I don't even possess the mind. So how can I possess objects? This body itself is going to go, whether I like it or not. If I truly possess this body, then it shouldn't go, but it does. You see? I don't have a, the power to possess even one object. So objects are there to be experienced, but I cannot possess them. And no experience of objects can truly bestow happiness. In yoga, we learn to meditate that desire of objects leads to suffering, and this can be proved. So uh, in order to develop vairagya or dispassion, we meditate First of all, on the defects which we find in objects. Objects have defects, and we meditate on it. And this brings desirelessness. You know, when, when an object is pleasurable, we develop an attachment to the object. You know this? Yes. How many attachments would we like to have in order to be happier? Hmm? Let's see. 
How many attachments do we need in order to truly be happy? Hmm? Talk to me. None. Not N-U-N. N-O-N-E. None. <laughs> None. Attachments are like shackles. How many w w would we like to have? You understand? We are like prisoners. So by seeing it, you know, objects are like chains. And it's not the objects, it's the desire for the objects which are like, this. it's like chains. So desirelessness is not indifference. We can experience objects without being attached to them. This is the point. We can experience objects without being attached to them. You don't need to possess them. You cannot possess them. Even if you want to possess them, you can't. I don't need to be attached to them. I can experience them. I can play with them. I can even rejoice. I can pretend that I had fun. <laughs> There's no need to be attached. There's no need to desire them. It's actually better not to desire them. So in order to develop vairagya, non, uh, dispassion, we meditate on the defects of the objects. They have defects.